Is the McDonald's hash brown ice cream hack worth the hype? Hi guys, look at you here and oh, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order? A hash brown ice cream sandwich? That sounds genius. Yes, you heard right. Okay, there is a new ice cream hack on the block where you take your favorite McFlurry flavor and slap it in between two crisp hash browns. And I have yet to try it out, so we shall see if it is worth the TikTok hype. Step one, have your dog pick up your McDonald's order. Thank you, Meeks. No problem. And Miku says to get this video to 140 likes so she can get rewarded with a handful of fresh blueberries at the end of next video. Now let's see what our precious Miku ordered for us. We have the iconic McDonald's oval shaped hash browns, freshly fried. Now let's see what McFlurry flavors Miku got for us. I got Oreo score and M&M. Miku, you just ruined the surprise. Oh, oopsie. Let's first try this hack with the Oreo McFlurry, because that's the flavor this trend started with. Now that I think about it, I'm actually wondering what all the flavors taste like together. We'll save that for last. Grab a hash brown and place it onto a dry surface. Let's grab our Oreo McFlurry, and with the iconic McFlurry wooden spoon? I mean, I love the eco-friendly effort, but the hollow plastic spoon just hits different. Slam dunk two to three scoops onto the hash brown. Grab another hash brown lid and place it on top of the McFlurry, squishing it down a bit and oh, we have our Oreo hash brown ice cream sandwich. And I'm super excited. Let's try the McFlurry Oreo by itself so we have something to compare it to. It's good. I just have very sensitive teeth. Not the strongest Oreo flavor. By the way, Oreo flavor is my favorite flavor. <laughs> All right, cheers. First bite for you. Mm, nom, nom, nom. Do you see that drip? Oh, it is, it is dripping. Look at that. I don't know what to think of this. This is very messy. The lady on TikTok, hers was not as messy as mine. I mean, it's not bad. It's very messy though. I mean, I like my sweet and salty, but I don't know if I like this concept. Like it's, my table looks like an Oreo crime scene. It's actually quite salty. Yeah, it sort of tastes like the French fries dipped in a, f a chocolate frosty from Wendy's. Like, you know, like salted caramel. And it has a good, a good balance of sweet and salty. But these hash browns are like super salty. On the look at you scale, I would give this Oreo McFlurry hash brown combo a six out of 10. But let's see how the other flavors rank. For those of you that don't know, score is Hershey's chocolate candy bar with a crunchy butter toffee in the center. But let's see how this one tastes in hash brown form. Let's try the score McFlurry first by itself. Hmm, I've never tried the score McFlurry before. Very butter toffee-y. And for those of you that don't know what butter toffee tastes like, Yes, you do. It's those hard oval shaped candies wrapped around that gold wrapper. You know, the ones that your grandma carries in her purse. Now let's try our score hash brown. Mm! Whoa, the ice cream literally melted through the hash brown. This tastes like salted caramel. Mmm. This flavor is my favorite. Even better than the Oreo, but still fairly salty. The butter toffee and chocolate flavor comes through for the Score McFlurry hash brown combo. I give this a 8.5 out of 10. 
And finally, let's try it with the M&Ms. Here's a pro tip. Since this dish has a breakfast item and a lunch item, you need to go to McDonald's between a special time. 10.30 to 10.59 a.m. is the magical time. But there's a catch. You need to do your weekly socialization with the <gasps> McDonald's cashier. Now let's try this M&M out. All right, we got our M&M McFleur. And let's just try it by itself first. Tastes like M&M's. Let me tell you a little secret. This is actually the Canadian version of M&M's, AKA Smarties, which aren't as tasty as M&M's. All right, cheers. First bite's for you. Mm, nom, nom, nom. I mean, M&M flavor doesn't really taste like much. And the McFlurry didn't really have that strong of an M&M flavor. Wow, if Miku was under here, she would be like in heaven because Look at all this McFlurry drip. <laughs> the ice cream's like melting. Yeah, not my favorite flavor. Unless you get a chunk of the M&M. It just literally tastes like sweet hash brown. This one, no, no. Without the hash brown, you can definitely taste more of the M&M flavor. But with the hash brown, just the potato and the salt overpowers the M&M flavor. For this M&M and hash brown combo, I give it a two out of 10. <gasps> Let's put all the flavors in one. Oreo, M&M, and score. Honestly, I'm feeling a little dizzy. <laughs> I think I had a bit too much. Okay, cheers. <laughs> No, no, <laughs> no, not good. Final verdict, I think this hash brown and ice cream trend is not worth the hype at all. Please do not waste your money, okay? I spent $2.30 before tax on one hash brown. First of all, since when was a hash brown $2.30? I thought maybe a dollar, but no. I, I told the cashier, I was like, I want a hash brown. And then he was like, okay, $19. I was like, and I'm like, okay, wait, let me go, let me go sit down and think about it. <laughs> Cause I'm not about to buy eight hash browns for $20. I read this hash brown ice cream hack a two out of 10. Okay. This challenge ruined my life. And I'll see you guys next time. She gets her daily multivitamin. Eat. Still yummy, right? And if you're still here, comment, I want a Miku McFlurry to confuse everyone.